What's going on? Welcome to the Sui Shays video coming out on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Subi smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking in today's video, and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from, you're drinking something cold, sit in a chair, ready for a shade. You know I am. Today, I've got just over three days of growth, and we're gonna do a battle. It's a shade battle today, and I'm really excited for it. We're gonna be using the Dracot Titanium Safety Razor that I just barely ordered and got my hands on. I absolutely love this. I've had about five or six shades with it now that have all been really really, really phenomenal, really close, and absolutely zero hassle. And we're going to be comparing that against Sean over at Carbons. Um, this is their Carbon Safety Razor utilizing their plus plate on it. It's a titanium razor. Um, they are very similar spec-wise. Um, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll talk a lot about it, how they um, stack up, how they um, kind of uh, do side-by-side -side as far as specs. We'll talk about how they, you know, they look and how they assemble. Um, we'll, we'll get all the way into it. I'm really excited to have you guys here for it. Um, um, and again, this is going to be just an absolutely phenomenal, very high end, more more catered towards the premium tier level um, safety razor ship. And I'm thrilled to have you here for it. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to be kind of delving into something new for me. We're going to be talking about Barber. This is their Barber 51 from uh, Alien Shave. And I'm really excited about this because I am not an actual, like usually a puck person, right? These are shave pucks. If you're a person that's coming into the craft, right? Maybe shave pucks don't, you know, it's not something you're accustomed to, but if you are not, right? Say you're somebody that has been in the craft for a long time. Shave pucks like William Shave Soap, right? Have been around forever, right? You stick the puck inside your mug and you lather off of it. This is really cool because with Williams kind of going away, right? They, they've kind of dried up. They, they're getting, the price are getting more expensive. It's cool to see like a premium tier offering from Alien Shave. Um, they did this in three different, um, like different scents. You have their blue, you have their, um, green and then you have their yellow i really really like this they're slightly scented i wouldn't say that they're super prominent on the scent they're using their like i said their area 51 this is like the same base as their um their tallow base that we use at the braveheart but in puck form um i've lathered using their barber right their barber uh, mug and ironically a lot of the times you see photos of the old old shave style right the, the the traditional shavers right you'll see the mug in the brush and the mug is usually overfilling with lather and technically in my opinion that's the lather you want to avoid right that that bubbly foamy nonsense lather is not going to give you the protection you want what you want is this like really thick rich pudding like at least in my opinion hydrated pudding like texture that's drippy that's thick and that's really rich now here's the kind of the issue with the mug for me is i'm not able to kind of get the same surface area so i'm not able to generate as much um of that like drippy lather as i usually do in my bowls but i think it really um works well if you're if you're a person that is planning on doing face lathering right you build your lather kind of you, you load the brush off the puck inside of the actual mug and then you generate the water you kind of add a little bit but then most of the work you're going to do and building your lather and getting it slick rich and hydrated is done on the shave surface now we did that today we did do that on the face like i said three days worth of growth and we shaved it off with the two different titanium razors i'm doing this because um the, when i asked i said what razors do you want to see go up against the tracon titanium this was the one that kept getting mentioned everybody said how does it shave compared to the um razor that sean and his wife over at carbon and again the titanium um from Sean is beautiful. You can see this polish on it is gorgeous, right? Absolutely built to the top tier tolerances. This is actually designed, it was modeled, we'll get right into this thing, um, after the Tech Razor. Um, if you're a, a fan of the Tech Razor, the old Gillette Tech Razor, they kind of took that and, and kind of tweaked it and redesigned it. They kind of made it their own. And I, I really like the, what they've done with it. I, I've heard people refer to this as a tech on steroids. You have a bunch of different plates from them you can, so you can tune and kind of tweak the performance based on the base plate you order from them. Again, we're using the plus plate here it sits in total razor is 0.88 um, gap with 44 um, grams in, in total weight, whereas the Dracot is 55 grams and 0.99 gap with a 1.25 exposure. I want to call that out. So they are very similar. You have an, a point, again, a 0.88 going up against a 0.99. We are talking very small um, differences in actual gap. They both have a positive exposure, but look at the blade reveal here. And that was kind of one thing that jumped out at me as soon as I started shaving. Look at the blade reveal. You can see there's a lot more blade fill on the, or the blade reveal on the actual um, carbon razor than there is the Dracont. And I feel like you feel 
feel the blade a lot more and hear it a lot more on the um, carbon side versus the Dracon side, at least on the shape on the face today. I was really kind of surprised and shocked at how much different these two shape, considering their specs are so similar. The um, actual uh, the razor tabs are covered on the Dracon side. They're not on the carbon side. So when I start shaving every morning, if I'm not on camera, right, I it kind of, it's funny because I, I reach for this one more now. I used to reach for this pretty often, but the problem is with those blade tabs exposed, I use it left often. Uh, you can trim them off, but I don't have to with the Dracon, and I like that better. I like the blade stabilization a little bit better in the Dracon, surprisingly. It's a little less loud. It's a little, It feels a little bit more stable in there. You can see it's definitely, definitely a lot less um, exposed, and I do feel like it tightens down just a little bit better to the point where it bends the blade down to, a, like, look at the amount of bend on that versus the carbon side, where it kind of sticks out, sticks out just a little bit more. Again, I, this was really built uh, resembling the tech razor, whereas this is much more modern. I think they've really taken their own like, uh, kind of their own approach with it. This is again being produced by, actually in collaboration with Yates. Jake Yates is the person that builds these. I just want to call out that he, um, Jake Yates is the person building these. Get that right out of the way here. I'm really excited. I think they're going to shave really good, really close, and really like quality uh, regardless. But with that lather, I just want to call this out. It almost felt like this stuff right here was synthetically smooth and slick i am that part of the reason i was so excited to be doing the battle today with their stuff is because it's so um easy to hydrate and it stays so slick for so long that i know i can do battle passes without having to re-lather up so awesome stuff from alien shape let's get going here let's do the head shape with the dracon titanium on the right hand side to start Again, three days of growth, so it's nothing to like, you know, just blink your eye at. But this razor really does it well. It does it easy and it does it fast. It, it shaves really close, very comfortably, and very easy. Oh my goodness. It's one of these ones that I, I was kind of hesitant to pick up at the price, right? The 369 price. But I do want to mention this. It's a good shaving razor that produces um, shaves for me that are almost too easy. I, I would say that if anything, my only like criticism of the razor so far is it becomes a little too autopilot for me. I, I know a lot of people out there that I think could use the razor and, and enjoy and appreciate how perfect the shaves are every single day. It's a very um, fiddle-free, fussless kind of razor. And I like that about it. But I do know other people that want to fill more blade and want to have a little bit more risk every morning, right? This is not going to give you that. It's not going to make you feel like you're living at the edge. Whereas I feel like the carbon kind of does, right? You get more, more noise with the carbon. You get a lot more fill from the carbon. And the carbon lets you know that when you're smooth it's going to be quiet and i noticed that on the battle pass shaves right because the um, carbon razor when it went over the same area as the dracon had been shaving the dracon razor's area was completely silent there was no noise i had no stubble coming off if you see any stubble in the lather in the actual battle video it's simply because the um the leftover remaining lather on my face i didn't completely wash it off but i can tell you this that didn't pull any um stubble off of the dracon side whatsoever i had no stubble come off with uh, the carbon side on this shot. I was shaving against the carbon or against the um, Dracon, at least in my opinion. I love both of these. I just really enjoy both of them. I do think that as um, the razors kind of um, develop, they progress, they get better and better and better. And the carbon's been around for a long time, right? And I, I it's kind of cool to see a razor like this come out and just do so well because I love my carbon razor. Now, one of the things that I do have people that do mention is they say is I like my blade tabs unexposed, right? They, or they like them exposed. They like to be able to adjust the razor. One person reached out to me recently and said, well, what happens if the blade doesn't load straight? Don't you want to be able to make sure it's loading straight and make adjustments on, on the actual um, little tabs, right? That's what they're there for. Originally, they were there so you could grab the tabs and move the blade because of the tolerances on razors were so, they, they weren't great. So you grab those tabs and kind of make sure that everything was set and level and straight. For me, I think if you're paying $400, near $400 for a razor today with today's tolerances, today's specs, you shouldn't have to worry about it. You should have a, a razor blade that goes in and that um, assembles straight every single time in my opinion especially this price now that's one thing if you're ordering a razor for a few bucks 20 30 bucks right you may have some some tolerance issues that you have to work through whereas these that's not the way right these these right here should be smooth they should be close shaving and they should assemble straight every that's my per, that's my 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 opinion here you shouldn't have to worry about tolerance problems that's i don't think that's crazy at this price point i really don't i i, I do not believe that you should have to be required 
to worry about the actual um, the actual blade going in straight. I just don't think you should. Do you guys see this? I am loving this base. It's so slick. The residual slickness on this is crazy. This is probably one of the best, if not the best puck I've ever used. Look at this. Oh, it's so nice. So smooth, so comfortable, and beyond uh, beyond easy. I would say almost boringly easy. I told my wife that I was using it the other day. The Jacquant. I picked it up, and I was just I was enjoying a head shave. I was not worried about anything, and I was like, "This is almost boringly uh, easy to use." And my wife was like, "Don't tell people that, right? That sounds bad." But it's not really a bad thing. It's almost too easy. It's almost too simple. It has absolutely no fill and feedback to it. The blade's super stabilized. And what I like to do is actually untwist that razor just a little bit to give it even a little bit more performance. Let's get in here. Keep in mind, this has less um, blade gap to it than the other razor. Just take a listen to this. You guys hear that? It's a very, very, very um, noisy razor. It's as noisy as I am. I mean, this thing is absolutely really lots and lots and lots of audible feedback. And for a lot of people, that's a great thing. They love the audible feedback. It's something that they, um, they use to make sure that they're BBS. For me, when I first started shaving, I absolutely loved audible feedback. Now I kind of, it's a take or, it's a hit or miss kind of thing for me. Sometimes I like it in the morning. Sometimes I want that quiet, no, just, just shave off the stubble and I don't have to worry about anything. I don't want to have to worry about listening to a razor um, cutting through things. It's kind of, you know, take a hit or miss for me on the day to day. But look at the shave quality here. It has merit. I really love the plus plate for me. The plus plate has the, the blade fill. It has the blade audible, um, you can hear it. It has a lot of um, smoothness to it. Uh, I think what Sean has done has absolutely make an art piece, right? It feels like a, like an art piece that you're using on the daily. I really believe it's like almost like something that you can shave with like functional art, right? It's it's meant to set out and make a statement. It's beautiful. Again, that is titanium, but it's polished so nicely that it could pass as, as stainless steel. It's gorgeous. And th this isn't like, I would say this is like their base level, right? This is their entry level into titanium. They do some absolutely wild, if you haven't, go over and look at Carbon, um, their shavings uh, webpage. They do some wild one-off razors, razors that I think could belong in a museum, at least an art museum. They do like their um, like mixed metal Damascus. Um, they do some really crazy, they look like wood, but they're not, they're metal. They, he does awesome, awesome work when it comes to mixing metals and then like making them his own with his finishes. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Um, and they come with a price tag that belongs in a museum, right? That's one thing you will notice as you start looking at the one-offs that they produce because they are very limited. You can see that there's a lot of work that goes into them and they're designed to be used. I mean, maybe, I mean, they're really just designed to be looked at. In my opinion, they're really, I know people that use them, but I would, if I owned it, I would just look at it. I don't know if I could actually bring myself to using it. You can see here, we're doing a little bit more buffing on the carbon side. I think this razor is actually one of the ones when I've used it historically, right? It's actually, for me, it's a really good three pass sh shaving razor. I almost have to go in and do like a bunch of like, uh, again, uh, two against the grain passes, usually. Not on my neck, but on my head and on my trouble spots. I have to do a little bit more. You can see it's still stuff still, still coming off. I end up doing a little bit more buffing with the carbon side than the Dracon side, surprisingly. And that could be the extra gap. That could be, I mean, the, the profile of it. Whatever it is, I just, I, I actually do a little bit more work. So uh, kind of a, I would say, slight nod to the Dracon, right? Not only do I um, ha not have to worry about cutting off like, you know, blade tabs, but I also don't have to do quite as much buffing in some of these like more difficult spots. Okay, we are all shaved up. It was an easy shave, it was a fast shave, it was a close shave, and it was a comfortable shave with both of them. You guys saw it, you make your own decisions on which one was better as far as the, just knocking it all down. I'm gonna get re-lathered up, I'll see you guys in a second, and we'll do some cross passes. Lathered up and ready to rock. I just absolutely love this thing. I cannot stop using it. It's super fun. Look at the smile here. It just brings a smile to my face every single time I use it because of how easy it is to use. It's a fast shaving, close shaving, very, very, um, I would say well made, um, well fabricated. Uh, the satin bead blasting on mine is flawless. There's no finish marks or like, you know, um, like waves in the actual bead blasting. It's a beautiful razor. It comes to your house 
house in a very premium box, right? With a serialized number. It has the, the base plate's been stamped with when it was made. Everything about this is just beyond, beyond when it comes to quality. And look at the actual stubble. You can see a fine, just little teeny tiny bit of stubble coming off of my head. Just it's very, very, very fine, very um, small. And it's, it, you can see it, but it's there. I would say there's a skiff of like actual stubble that this is taking off from the um, carbon side. I, I, I don't want to say it's a win for the Dracon, but I would say if you're looking at the plus plate, right, as far as efficiency goes versus the Dracon razor, surprisingly for as little blade fill and as easy and as quiet as this razor shaves, Take a look here. Now that is, um, I, wonder, I wanna call this out, that could be just going over one of my trouble spots, but pass for pass, this is still taking stuff off. And one of the things that I love about this razor is the head size. And when I was like looking at them, take a look at the head size here. It's actually slightly taller than the carbon, but it's like almost the same width. It, it, it protects the blade um, tabs, but it's almost the same width, which means you're getting that uh, ex extra nicety. You don't have to worry about blade tabs, but you're also getting, um, it, it fits in tight spots. I really like that. I, I always thought to myself, you know, I, I was a person that would be a, a carbon forever, but this Dracon's kind of made this, um, my daily routine, kind of put that one in the, in the, um, the, like the drawer for me more often than not. It shaves so darn easy, so close, and so effortless. I hate to be one of those people that, like, you know, tries to boost up the, you know, get hype going or anything like that. I really try to avoid that. I don't want to be the person that says, oh, it's the best new thing, you need it. But I do think if you're a person that's looking for a very day-to-day -day level shave, for me, that's what it comes down to. It's a day-to-day, -day, It's I would say it's... Um, just so easy. It's effortless. Um, an autopilot like styled shaver, but you need to be aware, right? That it's not going to have as much blade flow. It's not going to have as much blade audible feedback, but it's going to shave really, really close. I think the Dracon Titanium, as far as that goes, is a, it's a winner. Let's get in. Let's, let's switch it up now and go to the carbon side. You can see it. it uh, I like how this razor just cleans the, uh, the actual lather right off. You can just see this. But if you, if I had stubble, you would hear it. I'm telling you, this thing is loud. You would know if I had stubble on my head. You would hear it. It would be um, kind of, I mean, you would, you would hear it chomping through stuff. Look at that. Nothing. Absolutely to the bone. Crisp, close, easy. I like this one a lot. It's very easy to use. Very, very friendly as far as the um, actual shave angle. Um, I'd say it shaves at that traditional standardized, like that 30 degree angle, very much like a tech. I would say, again, this is, it reminds me a ton of a tech. It's very, very good shaver. If you're a fan of that Gillette razor, right, but want to kind of have one that's going to last like like literally forever, it's stamped in titanium. I think this razor is absolutely one of the ones for me. I, and I love the tech razor. It's one of my favorites. And I love having this razor because it does kind of give that nod to the traditional razor while still having that modern update. Now, you can see there's stuff that seems like it's coming off. It's really not. This is just stuff from the, like the residual passes. There's no stubble on my head whatsoever. You could hear it if there was. Such a close, easy, effortless shaver on, on both sides. Absolutely no irritation, no nicks, no dings, no problems. Look at this. Oh, that's a BBS. That's absolutely been something I've been dying to do three days down without a single bit of like blotchiness, redness. And again, you can see all this post skin like hydration happening from the puck. Again, I don't get a lot of good shaves with pucks. I've, I've, I've tried the William Shave Mug uh, soap and it was really good. But now that it's gone, right, I've tried a bunch of other brands. And for me, this, this alien stuff is phenomenal. And I like that they're using the same base that's in their really good premium top tier shave soap in their puck awesome awesome stuff so what we're doing is we're grabbing the area 51 we're doing the um scream cream which is uh it's just such a fun set right right rainbow sherbet flavored some scent that is just just absolutely poppy it's punchy it's fruity it's it actually uses a, a kind of a synthetic um cooling agent to get your skin nice and cold and refreshed oh so when it comes down to it i am going to say that your shave just slightly closer 
slightly closer, um, a little bit faster. And I do think that the shape and the profile of it follow like I, I it just for me, it's just I don't have to snip this um, blade tabs off, which I prefer. It's a personal thing. I do like the shape of the Dracont slightly more as well. As far as on the skin as it's shaving, it kind of sits at the right, just at the right angle is a head shaver for me. And it follows the lines of my skull a little bit better than a traditional fully rounded cap. Overall, awesome shave from both of them. I think both are worth the money if they're expensive expensive investments, but they're going to last more than more than lifetimes, right? More than lifetimes are a forever piece. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't, please go below, smash the sub, give me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And until I see you guys down there, soups. <laughs>